let's talk about consciousness. Where do philosophers stand on this? Did consciousness switch on at some point in human history and that <laughs> before oh, I that I love time, easy questions. I, I really like easy questions like that. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> that's, that's what we hear. Um, well, we, have, we haven't got a clue, to be honest. Uh, we, we, we say... Yeah, well, that, which is good, good for jobs uh, in the future. Uh, right. Like, we won't but, be, but, but, uh, but think, no, for uh, instance, I mean, just do a thought experiment to the future. What if we could use John's technology yeah. to create in the brain a sort of internet residency, that, that basically there is, there's something called sleep, then there's something called we wake up and we're conscious, okay, in the way that all of us primitive humans are right here, but would there be a way of creating, residing in the brain, essentially the information space that is the internet, and would that represent a different form of consciousness, or would it represent just some appliance crammed into our heads that's making us in pain all the time? What would that represent? Well, I think that, uh, just to guess, um, the, the, the view is, seems to be that uh, it would be just uh, basically an extension of your consciousness. Um, the, the, you, you might keep the, in mind this kind of picture. Uh, you can treat the body or what goes around the body as your environment. Now that environment may change, may improve, uh, may go bust, may be replaced by a different environment. Uh, what you do within the environment, you, the gardener of that particular environment, is to enjoy the garden and keep sort of, uh, the garden, uh, in, in the environment, in the right shape. Now, with that picture in mind, uh, what happens to the gardener if you change the environment is a, is a bit of a difficult question to handle. Basically, you, you still have that, that kind of role of consciousness, uh, but consciousness, you might imagine that it will be expanded by the new technology. It's a little bit like um, if anyone has gone uh, to different places, uh, scuba diving or on the peak of a mountain uh, somewhere, well, all of a sudden you have a different perspective of the world, your position in the world, uh, what you can or cannot do, and that expands your vision for a moment, and then we get used to it again. So it's like walking in a new city. All of a sudden you see things that after a few days, a few weeks, they just become normal. You look at the payment, or actually your Blackberry. So um, that well, kind of then, then let's take that question. Do you think machines yeah. do that? Do machines create experiences, or are they capable of creating experiences that simulate, say, the look back from the moon to the Earth rise, which transformed all of us, an image that before we had it, we were different. Now that we have it, it it's, a, it's a fundamentally different sort of level of consciousness, even though the brain activity may have gone back to the sort of low ebb, uh, it's a revolutionary moment. Do you think machines are capable of doing that? I think that this, this whole idea of, of, of how we interact and what is consciousness, what, what if we are able to perfect an in and output system to the brain where you can have second life being driven directly from your brain, second life the computer. Second life being the avatar community online that... Uh, yes. so, so, your, so your thoughts are moving you through a computer and those sensations are coming back directly into your brain and your body is just sitting there. This is the matrix, right? You know, so as my son came in, he, when, he, when he heard one of the early reports on what we did, he said, Dad, you are the matrix, you know. So, <laughs> but it's, it, it is, in fact, you know, it will create, uh, uh, as you can put things more and more directly or indirectly into the brain, uh, in and out of the brain, you know, does that reality become another consciousness? So I said it's a question. I don't really know what the answer is. It's certainly a very long time away before it's an accurate read in and read out. But um, that raises a, an interesting dilemma.